Come on, man. What you trying to do? You trying to fuck up our list, too? What you trying to do, Run the Jewels? You trying to fuck up our list, too? We just recorded this shit. We just recorded our top ten list. Come on, man. Don't do it. So far, this is, this is top five material, Don't man. Don't say it, man! Holy shit. We're about to do this 14-track Run the Jewels 3 album. First reaction, Jungle Beats ready. We in the house. We in the house. Anthony Fantano, if you look at his Twitter, <laughs> he don't like Run the Jewels, you don't fuck the list up. This is this is face. This is face. He's just like. Apparently, they dropped <laughs> a really good album, according to him. You know what? I'm not the biggest Run the Jewels fan. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I fuck with them. You fuck with them? I fuck with all their albums except Meow the Jewels. That was just an experimental I weird didn't me the fuck even out. I didn't even listen to that purely for the fact that I'm not a big fan of albums like that. I love the videos. Though. Those videos were dope. But Run the Jewels, two, and now we got three. Yep, I thought two was better than one, and uh, I'm excited for three. They have an aggressive sound. Um, uh, what, what are the uh, Killer Mike and mm -hmm. ELP? LP. LP, sorry. My bad, I read it wrong. Yo. Seemed like a really great duo. Well, for those that don't know how they became Run the Jewels, is they released an, an album together called uh, Rap Music, or acronym RAP Music. And uh, it was pretty much LP producing the whole album. So that's how it began. And because that, that album got such a strong response to it. And by the way, this is probably my second favorite album of the year that came out. Like, this is probably still one of my favorite albums in hip-hop. Like, I, I rate it above their Run the Jewels albums. Like, it's that, to me, it's that good. It was just so politically strong. But that was because they got such a warm response and they just had such a beautiful friendship. Like, they were just, they were just best friends at, such a, at an age where they met. Like they were both in their 30s, getting in their 40s. And to go on to doing what they are now. That's awesome to and see. And not charging for that. You know, when they released Run the Jewels 3... They said, it's free, but if you want to buy it, put how much you want to buy it for and just do that. That's awesome, Which man. is fucking amazing, man. You put what you think you, we deserve. Because there are people out there that knows that $10 to some people is a huge amount, whereas $10 to someone else is nothing. You guys have got a lot of talent and potential. I recognize that. Politically-minded, intelligent guys. Let's no waste no more time. Jungle Beats Radio. Run the Jewels 3. We had to fit it in before the year's up. We got to man. We got to Track one. Down. I don't know what to expect. Let's go. Feature and joy. I hope with the highest of hopes that I never have to go back to the trap and my days are dealing with dope. So I, I, I only spit fire and dope. So let's go. Two meals and the lights on. I'm a two right, get a new crew, make a new life. Never boo hoo, never lose sight. I'm a fool dude with a first talk from my old soul. But a stop drop, but a squad top, we don't stop a lot. We don't talk a lot about a strong start. Indeed, indeed. I feel like this track would it's flow would like, well. Yeah, flowing into the all second right. track. Sorry. If it's doing that all album, though. Woo. The cadence. I talk about cadence a lot. Mm. This is cadence. Killer Mike. That's flow. And also LP at the start when he was sort of like talking, like getting the introduction to the album with the verse, and it flows into his verse. Woo. Yeah. Man, that was, that was dope. That was a good intro. Strong opener. Beautiful beat, too. I, my favorite line, you're going to need a bigger boat. Boys, you're in trouble. What are they referencing? Are they referencing Jaws reference? Are they referencing the rap game? You're going to need a boat for like all your favorite rappers? And also, the boys is in the boat, the water, the boys. So, that playing words as well. Hey, there you go. <laughs> words on words. Track two. Talk to me. With a gun and a knife and a waistband. Yeah. With the war with the devil and shaytay. Yeah. More bad to pay and spray tag. Yeah. So high now, hoping that I land. Oh. All the tight moving through Thailand. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. 
God <laughs> damn. Holy shit, man. Did Killer Mike just fucking go in or what? <laughs> oh, I love his sound, man. And No one sounds like Killer Mike. No, no one. He demands attention. He commands it. Exactly. What the fuck was he saying? I I was so hyped. I missed so many good lines. I oh, man. This is going to feel like some... You got to go back to this one. <sighs> oh, man. That was some good shit. This is the first reaction. We didn't really get too much into it. Their chemistry reminds me of some, you know, young injury reserve type. You know, it feels like no, injury reserve... No, that's a great way to go about could it. ...could be what Run the Jewels are in the way they come together as a group with with uh, LP and mm. Killer Mike and... Um, Puck, uh, in, uh, and the two guys of injury reserve. So it's, it's uh, cool. Richie with T and uh, Grogs. Grogs, step of Grogs. But damn, that's all. I'm going to go back to that one. Yo. He comes in. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, dun, I ain't going to say no more. Uh, uh. Just what a great uh. track. Track, <laughs> track three, Legend Has It. It's the game. Fuck shit is finished today. <laughs> Not gonna stop with this shit, are they? <laughs> just when you think the track's like, oh, it's ending up. It switch that up. shit up. Oh my god. And even just like the subtle horns in there as well, like the vroom. That keeps you attentive. Vroom. The amount of instrumentation that is that are in these tracks so far, there's a lot going. LP is just showing exactly why it's one of the most valued producers in hip hop at this present time. <laughs> Damn. Yo. And I love, I love when duos as well flow back and forth. Like you That's know, it. That's what I was going to say. So I feel like so many duos will have my verse, then your verse, then my verse, then your verse. No. I love, I love it's when... like it's one. I love when artists just bang, like eight bars, bang, eight bars, or just the four and then the 16s. Like, I love when rappers just flow back and forth. Like, especially like when, when Tyler Crane and Lil Wayne trade bars on Smuckers. Like, just shit like that. It works, man. It fucking is when, so when good. When you get it... Kanye West and Big Sean... Oh, that shit oh, was fucking fire, yeah. Jay Echo, Big Sean on, um, Yo. you know, it happened time and time again. When it works, when you get it, whew, man, you get something special. Exactly. So far, so fucking motherfucking good. Track four, Call Ticketron. Come on, man. Come on, man. What you trying to do? You trying to fuck up our list, too? What you trying to do, Run the Jewels? You trying to fuck up our list, too? We just recorded this shit. We just recorded our top 10 list. Come on, man. Don't do it. So far, this is, this is top five material, Don't man. Don't say it, man. Holy shit. No. They're saying so much. I'm going to have to go back to this straight after this review and just catch everything they be saying because there's just so many lines where I'm like, oof. Like, there was one line that song. I can't remember it, but oh, I think it was about... How like how like bullets go where your thoughts are processing before it was about how oh, it was just just the way that he just that's why I'm so it. still because I'm just trying to take it and soak the bitch in. <laughs> but even the switch up at the end was oh, great, and they've done that twice now. 
keeps you really just yeah, engaged. Man. Just when you think things are about to end, you're like, nah, that slight beat switch up, that that complete change of flow and man. Bro, I, can't, I don't know if I can do this next track. If it's anything <laughs> to do with because of the feature. Man, I'm pulling out all the goofy dance moves, man. I might even want to tell you the feature. I'm not going to tell you the feature. You, is it Zach De La Rocca? I don't know who that is, but no. Is it? It's called, this track's called Hey Kids, Bumaya. I'm not telling you the feature. Okay, don't tell me. Kids! Are we six? What the Holy fuck? Holy shit, We're bro. five tracks in. Holy we're, we're, shit. That was a fucking crazy We're 35% through the album, bro. <sighs> Killer Mike was fucking insane. And then it, and fucking Danny Brown suited that beat oh, fucking perfectly, perfect. man. Perf- I, as soon as I heard the beat, oh. I'm like, he's going to kill it. Holy shit, man. I'm really fucking impressed. This is like... Like, if there's no filler on this album, Come on. we're talking top three, man. This Come is like on, on level. No, we're not ready. They're not ready, man. You're not ready. Holy You're not shit. Can no. you, I, I understand how Anthony Fantone feels now. This, this is the face, man. Oh. This is the face. You fucked this shit. You Hold fuck. on. No, no, it's okay. We're 35%. Track six. Okay. We got to stay calm. And we're going to track six. We're going to stay gold. <laughs> <laughs> the direction of that I really like the way they approach that topic that was a catchy as fuck hook too yeah I think that's that's definitely like an anthem track kind oh, of oh man um it's hard to follow up from the song we preceded it would be hurt <laughs> yeah track 5 was the, the flames of flames <laughs> but, I, but I fuck with that that was great <laughs> this, every catchy track, every track this is like listen to Imperial again the first time it's banger after banger after banger like can I take anymore yo you know you can take these bangers pause Track seven, don't get captured. One of the only tracks that doesn't have that big switch up in the middle of yeah. three quarters in. Can I just say, LP is doing his thing on the production, man. I don't know if he's got any help with it, because I know he's, he likes to do a lot of shit himself, but... While the zombie is on this, there you go, little Chalamel. It's nice to have a bit of a change of pace too. <laughs> like it still yeah, had it's that not as of... fucking in your face. Yeah, like, but I'm still amazed at a lot of the beats. Like, there's so many beats where they're just the same sort of drums or signature sound will carry you through the whole track, but they'll just keep taking things out and adding things in just constantly and, and just until the very end. Like, there's just no slack whatsoever in the production of this album so far. No slack. Well, even the fucking bars, man. I haven't heard a fucking whack line yet. I don't expect to. 
Chuck eight. Thieves. Fucking thieves, bro. Thieves. Scream the ghost. Feel the air and most don't know the reason. But they know his problems and feel his pain. She's insane. This house is haunted by pain, transposing the revenue. I don't know much about science, but I see no army on armed men stop and get quiet. This tongue low like a prayer from a time sky. Politically charged track. Yeah, man. I really like the, the theme of that track. He's saying a lot. They're saying a lot. I respect the direction and the cadence mm. of the production suited it well. It didn't distract from what he was saying. Instead, it aided it. I think it helped it. Yeah. No, this is dope. And, <laughs> <laughs> and a subtle, a subtle ending by uh, Tunde. Yeah, I thought it was. Really, it I feel off. like the album really needed that. Just that little bit of softness to it to just go ahead with everything. Great point. I really think it's just complementing everything going on. Yeah. I mean, as much as we love the bangers, like how much. How much can you do that before you just you just get fucking exhausted? Mm. But these, but like the production's just so versatile on this. Like they have their own style, but it's so versatile that you probably could do a whole album of bangers, and they all be so different. I think we've heard this. This is twenty. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused. This is twenty one hundred featuring Boots. Love that track. I actually probably only listened to that once when it came out, and I don't know why I never listened to it again. Yeah, I never re listened to it either. I don't even, can't really remember it, but I, I that, do. That fits in so well with the album so far. Maybe that's why I'm loving it so much now, just because I'm so amped up from everything else I've heard so far. And again, storytelling. The theme of where we're heading in this politically charged direction very well. Mm. It makes me stop and just think and listen, pay a lot of attention. Mm. Who was the feature again? Boots. So they were the, the, did they do the hook? Yeah, the, the, the higher pitch. Yeah. Dun, 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 I thought they were on their last dun, album. They had a rap verse. I must be thinking of someone else. Maybe. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe. Either uh. way, the guitar solo at three quarters of the way in was a beautiful, nice little addition really great mm. production once again just oh, fucking mate. killing it oh you know that when you miss the drop the production's good track 10 <laughs> panther like a panther okay panther. miracle mix featuring trina I told a preacher I love what he said that God was a lover. I said that people need love so that he would love that would love us. I walk around in a bubble of fucking scouts with the trouble and every time make a rumble the venue grind in the rubble give me a Oh man! Oh. Come on, man! Oh. Give me a bad track, oh. man! Give Enough, us, man! Give us something to criticize, man. Is that ten tracks without a four? I got a banana dick. Your bitch go ape shit if she hit it. <laughs> Is that the, the the best line I've ever heard, ever made, period, end of story, shut it down. <laughs> I want to put that on a t-shirt and sell it, but I'm a little suspect about the dick part. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, when that, when that was starting... <laughs> When that fucking shit was starting out, I'm like, okay, they're keeping the slow, the slowed it down the last few no. tracks. Holy shit. No. And then that beat comes in. Fucking. Fucking. Was that me? Killer Mike. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. So we've gotten all this. Now, track 11, he's telling. It's called Everybody Stay Calm. All right? Everybody Stay Calm. I mean, after that track, yeah. Ah. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. Excuse me, what bitches? I live for the last 
twist and the gas might twist it. No, no sleep for the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We up a month, go miss it. Big, yes. big, big black fella with a full fifth in the back, 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 fella. <laughs> yes. I rumble, don't struggle, young fella. Got a stinger in the 69 bumble, be yellow. I mean, uh, I mean, stun a big titty, be stylin'. Think you stuntin'. I expect the fuck out James in front. That seems a little aggressive. Oompa loompas, a short four inch with doors. <laughs> Production. Yo, this is... Once again. <laughs> Keep saying the same thing. Yo, but it's just, but it's not just the production that they put, it's them as well, but like, obviously the production's so good, but these guys are just constantly not spitting a bad verse. Not one. And I, I love LP's line about like, when he sees a savage, he doesn't use a napkin. <laughs> Just shit like that, man. Funny, they got like, humor. Kind of line. They've got the humor. They've got the message. And they know how to tackle things with, like, adding their own edge to it as well with their personality. They're just really creating an absolutely special album here. The synergy they have together is is unmatched to next to anybody I see today in hip-hop. These guys have pretty much... It's like these guys have slept with each other. They're, they're, they're insane, like, man. They really... Ugh, all right, don't go there. <laughs> Track 12. Do you reckon Killer Mike be bottom or top? Oh, mama. Country boy chilling in Brooklyn like lefty spoke for me. Fuck with us, you fuck with the truth, we speak openly. I'm a rat like Donnie Rasko, though, cause ain't no hoe in me. Them tricks you venerate, set the phaser to face, plate, incinerate. Run the jewels, run with the board, baby, assimilate. Assimilate, assimilate, assimilate. Oh, mama said that I'm not living right. That's a fucking good hook, man. Fuck, man, that... Uh, I don't even know what to say anymore at this point. I just They just haven't done anything wrong, so I can't find a single flaw. Not a single one. Other than, you need... <laughs> these guys have given That's me... That's clearly a flaw. These guys have given me the strength to move mountains. In this case, microphone stands. But, uh, you know what, guys? I expected, you know, more bars from you, better be... <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Um, Holy shit, man. Real shit, though. Real shit, though. Real shit, though. Next track. Yep. It's featuring a guy who's worked with a lot of artists. Uh, Kamashi Washington Ooh. has a lot of talent. He's a great... He opened for... Uh, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Um, mm. No, I listened to his... Uh, he released an album last year that was a three-part album. Really beautiful. I yeah. highly recommend it. It's great sound. Beautiful Background music, music put it in, vibe mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. All right. Thursday in the Danger Room featuring Kamashi Washington. We're going to get some beautiful saxophone, hopefully. I'm going to grab a seat. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know what? You know, yes, I am. I got back up, man. We <laughs> got two seconds, man. Sorry, the love is the lose your damn mind. The liver is the blessed is why I'm not stressing because some of my friends, they survive. That's the release, but I'm much bigger pieces of living on limited time. There's some times you wish they were gone. Not because you didn't love them, but just because you felt too weak to be strong. You couldn't bear to see someone who prided themselves on the strength of their weak. Life is a journey to live is a suffer, and I have been suffering through mine. But living's a blessing, so I ain't no stressing, because some of my niggas ain't right. That's one of the best tracks on the album. That's one of the best so tracks I'd on the album. Said I'd see you soon. The truth is that you never left. Uh, we're hearing two stories. Uh, from then, LP's side and then from... Um, from Killer Mike yeah. about two people very close to them who were past. Mm. Um, one probably from an illness and one maybe being in the streets. Yeah. From Killer Mike's perspective. The way they storytelled that was incredible. I thought LP did it really well at the start like he's Highlight, yeah. like he just like I was banging because the beat I'm like yo I'm getting into this but as soon as I heard him start speaking I'm like Captures whoa you. I like, this man is pouring out some shit right now uh, that's uh, and with Kasami on the hook and the hook just like just brings everything together just the way they said it like no matter where you are like you're always still with us you thought they were gone but you never left like just really beautiful track anybody Absolutely who's beautiful. experienced death or something similar situation this story would speak heavily to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, 
especially came for, if it comes from similar situations. Mm. That is an incredible way to story tell death. I think that's that's one of my uh, incredible. Uh, uh, I'm kind of like speechless because they did it so well. Like fears, they did it so well. Yeah, the fears associated with death and the interfacing with death and part bef- mm. before someone passes. And I've never had a big death, so I am afraid for when it happens how I'm going to react to it. Because I'm not like a hugely emotional person, so. Well, I think this will resonate with you uh, more when when that happens. Definitely, man. But, fuck, well done. We're about to get into the last track. Fuck me, man. If that isn't the close, then what the fuck will be? <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go. Track 14. Yeah. A report to the shareholders. Kill your masters. Yeah. Uh, and I'm scared that I talk too much about what I think's going on. Got away with this. They might drag me away for this. Either I'll be over tomorrow, kill our masters, and start again. But we know we all afraid, so we just simply cry and march again. At the end, Mike said uterus. They acting like Mike said you a bitch. To every writer wrote it, misquoted it. Mike said you a bitch, you a bitch, you a bitch. Had a nigga so feel me, follow me. Devil then got on top of me. Bad times got on monopoly. Give up, I did the opposite. It's perfect, did it properly. All the kill by this property. This life will stress you like Orson Welles on the radio. Holy shit. Holy shit. Are you serious? How the fuck am I meant to get a load off tonight after that album? <laughs> Motherfucker, you drain my balls dry. Oh my. You were sucking everything out of that. Is that... Is this going to do it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Holy that, shit. That's what you're going to do, Run the Jewels? With Run the Jewels 3? That's what you're going to do? Yo, you're going to come over here and suck my dick dry. You Motherfuckers, you got some fucking, the dick references, you got some fucking man. nerve, you know, holy shit. It's fucking the list up, man. Uh, <laughs> they gonna fuck the list up. Uh, for an album they didn't miss that a has 13, 13 tracks, 30, 14. 14, 14 tracks, not a bad track, nope. not a bad verse, nope. not a bad moment, not a bad feature, not a bad really anything, big features, anything, production. That is- Are we just too, are we too, are we being too kind to them? No. I don't really like, I don't really like- like, Dude, even though Mick Jenkins, we like to be tracking the album, there are still parts of the album where I get a little bored or a little bit like, you know, I don't yeah. like, but every track's still good. But this album had every good track, but not a single bad moment, not a single bad second. Is this the best? I'm going to say it because you can see, you can feel it. You know, you should, yeah, you should dive into albums more deeply. We know it's there. Yeah. But you see the potential. Is this the best hip hop rap album of the year? Uh, From a first listen point. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is definitely. But I've done my list. So I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it next year's Judy. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna release an album in the last fucking week of December, you don't deserve to be put in the list. Let me just say that. Uh, well, no, I wouldn't say you don't deserve, oh, yeah. but you make it much harder. <laughs> much harder for people like ourselves. We've done our shit from a first person perspective. That is definitely, definitely the best rap it's album. Top five. For sure, man. It's top five. Depending on what you dig, but that's I love this sort of hip hop. Really strong beats, really strong messages. Yeah. It has lots of diversity. It's all there, man. It's all there. I feel like it could it could bump down. Would this make you go back and check out their previous work? I, I checked out their previous work. I've listened to it. I just mm. haven't listened to it like this. This uh this is a lot better than the last album. Because Run the Jewel Ones to me was like, oh, it's okay. I prefer their last album. The Run of the Jewels 2 was like, okay, this is pretty good. It's on. It's about on par with their, their album that I liked. And this is just like, this is what I knew they could do. And they've done it. This is probably on par with my second spot. This is probably my... my this could be the healing component of Mick Jenkins, Run of the Jewels 3, Run of the Jewels. That's why I'm looking at the list and I, I feel like I don't want to put it in there. the list though, man, because I've done it. I would feel bad for kicking... Like, imagine Anthony being like, cool, Danny Brown, you got number one. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, Danny. No, you didn't. You're not number one. That's the that's the game. That's the game. That's though. the game. But I actually love that Run the Jewels put this album out this but year. I get it. Because Run the Jewels would have been like, there's been so much special moments. There's but so much coming out year. next year. Like through the nineties, there's, no there's not a bad song here. And there as a fan who has extremely high expectations, they weren't just met; they were blown at them. Damn Whoa. water! That's exactly what happened. That's how you make a hip hop album, Run the Jewels. That's how you make an album. Oh. That's how you make an album. Because when you're listening. You're waiting for that one little tiny thing that you're not going to like, that tiny little, a little bit of a beat, a certain line, a certain thing that irks you. There was none of that. That's how you make an album. Absolutely none of that. 
God damn it, brother Jules. You had to fuck the list up. Just literally, we did it two hours ago. Mm. That's track five, though, man. Track five track is a monster. Well. Track two is insane. It has a really great start. And the, dude, the last few tracks were just so... It just closed so well. Politically charged. Message is there. And also, listening to this without any breaks, just letting it... Because every track flows into the next one. Oh, yeah. Like, it'd be just such an experience. Oh, man. my God. That's enough, man. I don't even want to bust a nut now. I just want to listen to this album again. You're going to bust a nut tonight while the album is playing, so you're going to bust two nuts at once. <laughs> you're going to be breaking records. Who needs a G-spot when you can listen to this album? <laughs> well <laughs> This album is the G-spot <laughs> It is the G-spot Motherfucker <laughs> Is that it? Is there much else you want to say on this? That's pretty That's how you do it man Young kids out there asking like Can you listen to our albums? Can you see what we like? That's how you do it That's how you do it